the sports. First, it's the home of great college basketball, the ACC championship game, the premier conference championship, the color, the excitement. Garden with two. Plus, golf's best swing towards Florida for dramatic final round coverage as Arnold Palmer hosts the Bay Hill Classic. Then on NBC Sports World. Okay, get ready for the ice. World Cup downhill skiing. And from Miami, the Women's Pro Gymnastics Classic. Reverse hecked over the high bar. The very best in innovative sports coverage today on N. B. C. NBC Sports, in association with TBS, presents the best of college basketball. Today, from the Greensboro Coliseum, it's the ACC Championship Game. Today's game is brought to you by the Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. By Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. By IBM, helping put information to work for people. And by Allstate Insurance Companies, you're in good hands with Allstate. sold out over 15,000 fans to see what they feel are the two top teams in the country and our NBC experts agree it's North Carolina against Virginia hello everyone I'm Dick Enberg and what a way to close out the regular season here's how they got to the final game the semifinals yesterday number one Carolina advanced with a win over NC State all American James Worthy and the ever present 6-9 center Sam Perkins led the Tar Heel attack they won it 58-46 Virginia qualified behind 7-4 All-American Ralph Sampson with the Cavaliers were forced into overtime by Wake Forest guard Ricky Stokes with a fortunate bounce. Banks and the winner at the buzzer and Virginia qualifies to meet Carolina for the championship today and this is their third meeting. Each has won one of the previous two. Al McGuire and there's even more at stake. Big, big game, Dick. In my opinion, the team that wins this game is going to represent the Eastern Regional in the NCAA and it's possible if North Carolina wins they will not leave their state. First round Charlotte, second round Raleigh, and they'll be dancing in Bourbon Street. Remember, basketball is playing at home. All right, and that's at stake as well as the bragging rights for the Atlantic Coast Conference. The winner will remain in the Eastern Regional in the upcoming NCAA tournament. The lineups from Greensboro in a moment. <laughs> Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. Miller Highlight. When it's time to relax, one beer stands clear. America's quality beer. Miller Highlight. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Your business machines say a lot about the way you do business. Quick. Right. Canon's NP400F delivers 40 letter-sized copies in a minute. Consider it done. Responds with reduction, even enlargement. Keeps you organized with a document feeder and optional sorter. The Canon NP400F system copier. Technology that keeps you going. Call toll-free for information or contact your authorized Canon dealer makes you feel important after one of those busy Howdy. days who always treats you special in so many different ways who has big rooms and big beds too who knows how to take care of you there are only two people in
in the world who treat you the way you deserve to be treated. If it's not your mother, it must be Howard Johnson's. Hello? Ma? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups for the ACC Championship. For Virginia, at forward, number 10, 6'8", junior from Montclair, New Jersey, Craig Robinson. For North Carolina at forward, number 44, 6'8", sophomore from East Meadow, New York, Matt Doherty. For Virginia at forward, number 4, 6'8", freshman from Princeton, West Virginia, Jim Miller. For North Carolina at forward, number 52, 6'9", junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Worthy. For Virginia at center, number 50, 7'4", junior from Harrisonburg, Virginia, Ralph Sampson. Undoubtedly the player of the year again in college basketball, Sampson. sophomore from Latham, New York, Sam Perkins. He won the tournament MVP last year here. Number 45, 6'5", freshman from Ridgewood, New Jersey, Tim Mullen. Big part of the story, Mullen is replacing Othell Wilson. Wilson, an injured leg on Friday night, won't play today. North Carolina, Michael Jordan. For Virginia at guard, number 24, 6'4", senior from Owensboro, Kentucky, Jeff Jones. For North Carolina at guard, number 21, 6'3", senior from the Bronx, New York, Jimmy Black. The head coach of the Virginia Cavaliers, Terry Holland, and the head coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels, Dean Smith. In our NBC poll of sports writers this morning, the top two teams in the nation, North Carolina and Virginia, matched up in this tournament championship in Greensboro, North Carolina, after meeting the starting ten players. Oh, what talent we're going to be watching today. The opening tip-off is coming up. Big game tonight, huh? You ain't gonna be there? I'll be there. Frank, I need this analysis before you leave. When you've got an important deadline, you need a Honeywell office automation system. Using a desktop terminal, executives can organize data, analyze statistics, and get their work done. At Honeywell, we know how important it can be to meet a deadline. Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. It's Sears National Hardware Week Sale. Save now through Saturday on these Craftsman Portable Electric Tools. Save $10 or $20, just $29.99 each. And these Craftsman Screwdrivers, just $0.99 cents each. Easy Living Satin Flat Paint. Save $6. On sale now, $9.99. Save on hundreds of other items in this Sears Circular. For Hardware Week values, you can count on Sears. 7-4 center, Sampson for Virginia. Freshman Mullen, senior Jones at guard. Robinson in the front court, along with Miller, not Black. Black and Jordan, the guards for Carolina. Perkins, the AC MVP in the tournament last year. Worthy the All-American and Doherty at forward. We're set to go in Greensboro. to the top. Inside to Sampson. Over Perkins. Rebound. Jordan. Carolina on the run. This is Black, their senior quarterback. Perkins outside. Rebound to Mullen. 6-5 guard. Looks like they're only coming at each other, Dick. It'll be a fast tempo game. North Carolina wants it that way. Sampson misses his first two attempts. Rebound Doherty. Virginia at Chapel Hill, 65-60, and then Virginia walloped the Tar Heels at Charlottesville in the rematch. Two nothing, North Carolina. Virginia's playing man to man. 74-58 was the score of the second meeting at Virginia, and this is the rubber match in the AC tournament. Sampson. Good call by the official. Here's the opening tip. Watch how fast Sam Perkins gets up. Steals the tap, and that's all she wrote. 
It appeared that that's something they had planned. That he, they thought Perkins could beat Sampson on the tap, and Worthy went in uncontested. North Carolina just went to a 2 3 zone. This is where they'll miss Othell Wilson. He can shoot from the outside. Miller, the freshman, Jones, who will have to take up the slack and do some shooting. And Mullen, he's short. So Virginia misses its first three attempts. Jimmy Black inside to Jordan. Tipped in by Perkins. Six to nothing, North Carolina. Virginia needs a basket real bad. Robinson, he misses. Excellent call. What a start for Dean Smith, North Carolina Tar Heels. Five shots, four baskets, Virginia over four. It reads out eight to nothing, North Carolina. Once you put motor on a can, you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't watch it work. So how do you know how good it is? At Quaker State, we put it in writing. We back up our quality with a lifetime guarantee. How do you know how good Quaker State is? We guarantee every new car engine against all related failure for as long as you own your car. We put it in writing. We're working to keep your car staying on the road. How do you know how good Quaker State is? We put it in writing. No one else does. I'll tell you, we never realized golf was such a tough game. Hey, it's a lot easier hitting a quarterback than a little white ball. Sauce Linksters drink light beer from Miller. Not just because light tastes great, but because it's got a third less calories than a regular beer. And it's less filling. And you can't afford to get filled up when you're out there trying to get birdies. Yeah, those things move awfully fast. <laughs> light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. The thrills of World Cup downhill skiing. Oh, look at this, though. There. The battle between man and mountain and the women's pro gymnastics classic later today. North Carolina off to an eight nothing start. Worthy puts it up, but Sam's is too close to the basket. Anytime you go up and block the shot that close to the basket, the referee's going to go goaltending, which it was. Two minutes and 13 seconds, and a foul is called on Worthy, or no, they just say out of bounds, no foul. Carolina's looking for the knockout punch. They're pushing hard. They're trying to keep Virginia on the snide. Into Jones, hawked by Black, an excellent defensive player, Black. Into Ralph this time down. Miller, the freshman, hits 8-2 to two as Virginia has its first score. This is a surprise right now. They're picking up a court. 3-2. They're about playing at one man zone underneath. Michael Jordan. Virginia to win. Craig Robinson has to play good. Miller hits two in a row, and it's eight to four. The three one one pressure up court. Jordan off to Worthy. Worthy now has six points, and it's ten to four. James Worthy is a complete player. <laughs> Carolina's back in the zone. Inside to Sampson, and he has his first two. It's 10 to 6. No problem with the press, and Doherty brings it in. North Carolina and Virginia, two teams who made the final four last year. Perkins bangs in a 20 footer, and it's 12 to 6. He has four. Perkins put that right in Ralph's face and said, Samson, you've got to come out and play me or I'll bottom it out. Stokes into Samson. And Worthy, all alone. That's going to be a foul. We'll see if it's a two-shot foul. John Robinson, a good play. It should be a two-shot foul. Dean Smith's jumping up and down. He's absolutely right. It was a solo breakaway by Worthy. Now watch this replay. Excellent play by Greg Robinson. Ralph loses the ball in here. Now here goes Sam. He's moving uptown. I mean, James Worthy's moving uptown. 
An obvious intentional foul by Craig Robinson. Miscue by the officials. Hockey, that would have been a penalty shot because Worthy had an easy two. Instead, Carolina just got the ball out of bounds. Worthy. Oh, no, you can't do that, Ralph. Goal tending on Sampson, his second. Ralph is too close to the basket this afternoon, and everything he's blocking away is obviously goaltending. He has to move up a foot or so. Watch how close he is to the basket. Now, anything up there, he's going to knock away. The ball's always on his downward flight that close. Jim Braddock in for North Carolina. This is Robinson. Gets his own rebound. No foul. And Stokes is called for the foul, and the Virginia fans are angry. Oh, no basket. You're not going to get any basket on this. You're going to get a charging call, Dick. Terry Holland is acting up. Wow. Watch this here. He thought there was a foul right there, but there yeah, wasn't. Admit, but here's where the charging call. See, they called charging right there off Ricky Stokes. No basket. Here's some of the scores yesterday. Carolina, Virginia winning. Georgetown continues. We'll get more later. 14 to 6, North Carolina. Steal the play made by Young Miller. Jones brings it down. Perkins gambling. This is Jones, the senior, and he hits his first basket. 14 to 8. Five minutes gone. The hero of yesterday's game, Stokes, is playing tight on James Black. All turned aside. Virginia, 
Ralph Sampson there, third team foul. Carolina has not committed a foul yet. Well, Sampson's kind of tired, and I think they got to get him out for a rest. I think he'll be going out now. See, his reflexes aren't there. He's just kind of laying all over Perchard. And a timeout. 11 minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the first half. Number one, North Carolina jumps out to an early 10-point advantage. America on the move, on the tire Michelin pioneered, the radial. We are moving thousands of trucks and trailers. We are delivering produce and flowers and school children. We are taking people to work, to shop, to play. We are pushing, hauling, carrying, scraping. When America demands performance, we deliver. We are Michelin, and we put America on radials. You know you'll get the job done right We take pride in what we do Cause we care about the work We do for you Trust the Midas Touch Trust the Midas Touch 78 MGB Where nothing but the best is ever gonna do Trust the Midas Touch Thanks. Trust the Midas Touch From West Germany. Okay, get ready for the ice. Here it comes. Coming into the kangaroo. Oh, my trouble. You'll experience downhill skiing like it's never been covered before. Later today. We have great news. Robert James, the commissioner of the ACC, Arthur Watson, the NBC president, announced today that NBC will be the official network of the Atlantic Coast Conference for the next three years. And we're really pleased with that. I like that. The ACC is a nice conference. I'll, I'll enjoy working with them. So you'll be seeing this final game right here on NBC the next three years. And, of course, much of the other Atlantic Coast Conference action as we continue our relationship. And NBC continues in its uh, desire to be the network of college basketball. We'll be watching Jordan for the next three years. Miller and Mullen. The talent is rich again in the ACC. 24-14, North Carolina with the ball and the lead. Eight minutes have been played. Chris Brust is in for the first time for North Carolina, number 45. Virginia's gone to a 2-3 zone, mainly, I believe, to rest Ralph Sampson. Brust, Black, and this is Braddock. James Worthy also given a breather. Sampson and Worthy on the sidelines. Braddock from way outside, not there, and a foul underneath. And the first foul against Carolina in the game against Chris Rust. Other scores, Tulsa winning against Columbus Illinois Rust. State. Memphis State a squeaker. Arizona State upset Oregon First State. Foul. Minnesota, the Big Ten champions. Iowa, boy, another heartbreaking finish for the Hawkeyes. Ten Idaho, the winner again. Kentucky knocked off by Alabama. West Virginia upset by Pittsburgh. Arkansas wins in the Southwest. Mullen, not there. Perkins is. Worthy back in for North Carolina. They alternated again their defense, the back to man to man. How much has Virginia missed Othell Wilson? Well, he's the one that triggers that fast break. He's the one that keeps them honest from the outside. Jordan, the freshman, and Samson high above the crowd to get the rebound. Perkins hit the deck. It's okay. Othell Wilson doesn't give you the same amount of problems, but as a guard, he gives you some problems that Ralph Samson gives you as a baseline. This is Stokes, the hero yesterday. Sampson gets the rebound. That's the closest Ralph got the ball to the basket in the first quarter here. Eight-point lead for Carolina. We're at the halfway mark of the first 20 minutes. Joe Forte, Paul Hausman, and John Flority are the officials in this final game. And Eaton on Worthy now. Kenton Edelin in the game. There's Perkins. Rebound Sampson. Brings it down himself. Watch out. Up. Oh, he double dribbled. Okay, you should be mad at yourself. You're not supposed to dribble when you're 7-4. All right, now watch, watch your Ralph Sampson get the ball here. 
Gets the ball now. The other end, he gets Stokes' rebound. Uh, yeah, here's where he ends up with the dunk on this one. He's pretty close to the basket. Just takes a quick left turn here and... He knew where it was. North Carolina 24, Virginia 16. Nine and a half minutes left before the intermission. Alone is Black. Perkins rebound. No, that's Worthy. And he hits again. James Worthy has 16 points. The only guy I think can stop Worthy today would be Sampson. But they're afraid Sampson gets in foul trouble. Worthy, just a junior. Gastonia, North Carolina. Beautiful pass to Edelin. Mullen set him up. That was a, that was a pro pass. That's a very difficult pass what he did just then. Obviously, everyone's conscious of Samson, and he even slipped up on the baseline. Reminder, we will have our most valuable player blocked by Samson. Here comes Virginia. They could cut Carolina's lead to six. Inside, Miller, and he was fouled by Jordan. This is what you call a pro pass through his zone, a bounce pass. All the way through, Edelin had the inside. Obviously, three men were around Samson in the, in the house or in the paint. Virginia plays the ball out of bounds on the foul by Jordan. And Jordan comes out. Buzz Peterson, a freshman from Asheville, North Carolina, number 22. He's heir apparent to Jimmy Black's point guard job, is in now for Carolina. Stokes and they couldn't know Bell Wolf. Watch how far they lay off Stokes when he gets the ball. Miller, the player of the year in West Virginia last year, went to Virginia. He's got six points, and it's now 26 20. There's if Gail Catton had him in a great season this year. Now the Virginia fans creating a ruckus. And it's primarily a North Carolina crowd here in Greensboro. This is Perkins over Robinson. And a foul against Robinson of Virginia. He reached in on Matt Doherty. There's some more of the action yesterday in the final weekend regular season play. Missouri wins the Big Eight Conference and the tournament. Wyoming into the NCAA and overtime win against San Diego State. Evansville also into the NCAA. First time, I think, for the Purple Aces. It was a tremendous turnaround. They had that tragic accident, uh, Dick, about five, six years ago. Well, you made that comment a week or so ago. You thought they might just be the best basketball team in the state of Indiana. That raised a few eyebrows. It's 26 20, North Carolina, eight minutes left. A copy to every salesperson, Miss Jones. When there's more and more paperwork in an office, very often there's less and less productivity. Miss Jones! And productivity is what IBM office systems are all about. Today, IBM has systems that help you create, file, retrieve, and communicate information with a lot less paper. Terry, any legal problems on this California contract? So information that's filed only one time... I'm looking at it, Jack. ...can be used by many people time after time. Looks fine to me. IBM Office Systems. With more than 40 years of experience, no one is more committed to the office, where it is now and where it will be. Where will you be? Here's the hundred copies you wanted. IBM. The thrills of World Cup downhill skiing. Oh, look at this, though. What a fall there! The battle between man and mountain and the Women's Pro Gymnastics Classic. Later today. The Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina, the same for this 29th tournament championship of the ACC. And Carolina leads 26-20. The Bay Hill Classic, Arnold Palmer's tournament to follow. Hey, some big names in the running in the third round. They had a day of uh, rain. And, of course, the final will be tomorrow. Nicholas, Floyd, Watson, Watkins, Stadler, and Haas all in a battle and tightly squeezed for the lead in the third round. So stay tuned. That Bay Hill Classic to follow. Junior will set in the zone. Ralph Sampson's back in. Tight pocket zone around the basket. Woo! 
Into Peterson. 26-20, Carolina once led by 10. Virginia has carved it down to six. This is Doherty. Boy, he's been hot from 20. Six points for Doherty. 7.45 left first half. Number 54, Warren Martin, a seven-footer in the game for the first time for North Carolina. He's replaced Perkins. He'll just lean on Samson, and probably pick up a foul or two. He's expendable at this time of his career. North Carolina as a team with only two fouls. Robinson, good move, unworthy, and then he lost it out of bounds. James Worthy has played a picture-perfect first half at both ends of the court and has 16 points for North Carolina. He'll make most everyone's All-American team.
just interesting to think it's a very, very weak year in the NBA. And uh, these guys are going to really be tempted to come out because if they come out, they're going to be one, two, and three, just like last year with Buck Williams and Wire and Isaiah Thomas come out. They became one, two, three. Kenton Edelin, a walk-on, has four points. 30 to 27, North Carolina, with 4.15 left in the half. How can a guy six foot nine or six foot ten be a walk-on? That doesn't make sense. He had a chance to go to several other schools. He wanted to go to Virginia because of his academic status. He didn't go as an athlete, but certainly has contributed to this team. Worthy. Sampson can't control, but Miller is there. Should be two shots, Eight automatic. Oh. So Michael Jordan made the steal, and Edelin saved the easy lay -in. Watch the steal here. Jordan takes off like a jackrabbit. Now here's an intentional foul. They're just laying all over. They don't want to give anyone a three-point play. Here they come at another angle. First Edelin hits him, then Stokes goes over and lays on him a little bit. It's a two-shot foul, even though he wasn't shooting. That's what should have happened at the start of the game. When a man's breaking away and has a chippy layup, and you grab him, he should get two shots. Jordan, a candidate for our all-freshman team. We'll be announcing our traditional NBC all-freshman team, our coach of the year, and our NBC player of the year at halftime. It's 32-27, North Carolina, timeout. For special offers on American-made tools, come to your participating hardware or home center store's great All-American Workshop sale. Save now on 10-inch vice grip straight jaw pliers and 7-inch vice grip pliers with wire cutter. Buy this Hobby Crafter Work Center and Vice by Black & Decker and get a 14-piece X-Acto knife set free. For all those jobs around the house, the burns matic Oxygen Tote Torch. Now with free safety goggles from burns matic They're just some of the specials now at your hardware home center store during the great All-American Workshop sale. Head and Shoulders doesn't have it. Selsun Blue doesn't have it. Only Denerex has it. An extra relief medicine to stop dandruff itch. You can feel it tingle. All three have one medicine for dandruff itch, but only Denerex adds a second medicine, an exclusive anti-itch medicine many dermatologists recommend. You can feel it tingle. That's extra relief medicine, and only Denerex. On NBC Sports Ringside, Mustafa Ham Show, and Curtis Parker. The Syrian buzzsaw. Parker wants this rematch on NBC Sports Ringside next Saturday, live. Here's the coach's all-time Atlantic Coast Conference team. Every one of these players were a player of the year in the conference. Ford, Thompson, Rosenbluth, he was a member of that 57 championship team that went unbeaten. Art Heyman, Ralph Sampson. How could you leave Billy Cunningham off that team? Well, I tell you what, no one would have been player of the year in the ACC. Each one of those guys was player of the year in the country. And I was going to put Billy Packer as the coach on the floor, but his hair kept getting in his eyes. <laughs> Alvin ACC team, something bought some great talent there, and of course, as is always the case, tough to limit to five. Virginia trailing by five, 32-27 with the ball. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Pressure up court, one, two, one. Jones with a track. Now it's three on one, and Miller scores. Jim Miller has eight points. Once you get the ball in the middle, against the trap, you usually can score on the other end. 1-3-1. One, one. Virginia. Worthy. Perkins. Out of bounds to Virginia. Carolina didn't like the call, but there are a couple of uh, potential Carolina fouls on that play, too, that were 32-29. Watch the crowd around Sam. Where does Samson go? Fell right next to him. When he goes over to the strong side of the court, two guys will pick him up. Now he's on the inside. I like that position he has now. I'd shoot and look for him to get the rebound. 
See the wall hanging tight around. Two guys are always touching. Miller and a reaching foul against Jordan of North Carolina, and that's his third. Halftime, player of the year, and we'll have an interview with him. The coach of the year will announce him, as well as our NBC all-freshman team and our final season NBC Top 20. Watch this time now. Carolina's in the zone. I believe that Ralph can stay low in the blocks. They shoot from the outside. Then he'd have inside position and rebound. See where he is? Now watch him get kind of fidgety. Come out and try to get the ball in the ball. Uh, so you push him back. Get, get your position, Ralph, and hold him. You? Okay. Now I'd shoot. Shoot the ball. Let him get the rebound, will you? Get the inside again, Ralph. Now he's coming out. That's a problem. Get on the other side of James. Where is he? Get the other side. He's not listening. <laughs> Miller in trouble for a moment. Where he still got his hand on him. He gets his hand and touches it back on Ralph every, every couple of seconds. There he's got a hand on him again. Beautiful pass, and Edelman scores. What a play by Sampson. You hear a lot about Sampson, but the one thing you don't hear about, which is probably his biggest weapon, is his passing and his court vision. Virginia is within one of North Carolina. Trailing by as much as 12 in this first half. Doherty to Perkins. Oh, oh wow. What a shot. Oh, I think that was a Hail Mary. What a shot. He takes that shot all year long. That little jump hook. Yeah, but boy, it's a tough shot. It looks so different. Carolina again is going to sit back in the 2 3. It looks like uh, Virginia might take a few seconds off the clock. Jordan is on the bench with three fouls. 24, Jim Braddock has replaced him. That's Braddock hopping the ball at the moment. Dean is saying, go back into your pocket zone. Virginia has to attack you. Virginia's losing by three. Looks like Virginia's content to either go in three down or maybe one down. 57 seconds left. Now they're coming out with pressure now. Bad pass, but Miller did a good job of controlling it. Final seconds of the first half. Boy, it's been true to their rating. Number one and number two, Dean Smith, 51-year-old head coach, the winningest coach in Atlantic Coast Conference history. 21st year at Carolina, looking for that elusive national championship. He was picked number one at the start of the year. He's number one at the end of the regular season. Or will he be? But Number one, two is the poll that we have. APUP has the poll number two, Virginia number three, and North Carolina number one. If North Carolina loses today, I believe the poll will become number one after the third year in a row, which Ray Meyer doesn't want, he'll be going into the NCAA number one, which is the kiss of death. That ends an outstanding 20 minutes of college basketball. Here's Samson's assistant. Now watch how he has the vision. He goes, he drops it right down on the inside to Edelman. Now, anytime he passes, obviously two or three men are covering him, Dick. Here's another the angle. All right, see, watch Edelman slip on the inside. One of the many sterling plays in this first half. North Carolina 34, Virginia 31. We'll be right back. We know there is intelligent life on this planet, but it takes the right environment to make it thrive. One that feeds the mind as well as the body. An environment that recognizes the power of ingenuity. Encourages it, rewards it. Bendix creates this environment for its people, and they help to create the future. Bendix, the power of ingenuity. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Where? Sears said they'd install the muffler in an hour. An hour's up. Since when does an hour mean 60 minutes? Confidence, Karen. Confidence. Now Sears will install the Muzzler Muffler for $24.99 within 60 minutes of your authorization or the Muzzler labor charge is free. Ah, Mr. Carlson, 60 minutes on the nose. Well, I never doubted it for a second. For great value and fast service, you can count on Sears. 
I like it. Over 8 million men who have tried the Gillette Atra Razor like it. I like it. The Atra Razor pivots to continually hug every curve and contour for a better shave than any razor that doesn't pivot. I like it. And right now, to get you to try Atra, if you buy five blades, Gillette will give you this Atra razor free. Free? I really like that. We asked Roger Staubach to find out how people spell relief. How do you spell relief? For acid indigestion, R-O-L-A-I-D-S. For heartburn, R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaids really does spell relief. Like a sponge, Rolaids antacid medicine consumes 100% of the acid required to give millions 100% relief. How do you spell relief? I spell relief R-O-L-A-I-D-S. For millions of Americans, Rolaids spells 100% relief. Thursday, Gwen Verdon guest stars as a fading actress using the students and teachers to revive her career. She's impossible. We are in deep trouble. Fame. Intermissions are nice when you're at a classical performance to chew on, digest, assimilate all the exciting things you've heard and seen. So it is in the Greensboro Coliseum as they talk about assimilating first 20 minutes. We'll be back with our halftime show after these words from your local station. Sunday, it's Stone Age fun with the Flintstones. And Boomer confronts a local gang on Here's Boomer. Then a spectacular collision and chemical spill. Got hazardous vapor spreading real fast. On chips. Then Burt Reynolds and Sally feel the team from Smokey and the Bandit in the end. A great night of action and fun Sunday. Carolina by three at halftime. It's our pleasure each season on NBC to select the top first year players in college basketball and each new wave seems to bring more and more outstanding talent. Here's our 1982 team. From Georgetown, seven foot Pat Ewing led the Hoyas in rebounds, was second in scoring, many of them spectacular, finished second in the nation with over 100 block shots. Metro Conference champions Memphis State unseated Louisville due to the big play at both ends of 6'11 Keith Lee, the only freshman in the nation to finish in double figures in both rebounding and scoring. From Iowa, the Big Ten, 6'11 center Michael Payne. Payne helped his team in a fight for the Big Ten championship with an auspicious first year, leading the Hawkeyes in both scoring and rebounding. In the ACC, University of North Carolina's first-year sensation, Michael Jordan. 6'5", Jordan averaged 14 points a game, leading the Tar Heels to the number one spot in the nation. They're already comparing Jordan to ex-Carolina All-American Walter Davis. And finally, Wichita State's Aubrey Sherrod. In his first year, Sherrod averaged 11 points a game, finished second on his team in both assists and steals. And Oregon State's Ralph Miller is our NBC Coach of the Year. Miller, in his 31st year, despite three starters lost to graduation, again won the Pac-10 championship. So congratulations to our all-freshman team and the veteran coach, second winningest active coach, Ralph Miller of Oregon State, our NBC Coach of the Year, taking the Beavers again into the tournament. Boy, it was tough to separate. Uh, we had a lot of other coaches that were in definite consideration. Well, I, I like the ball from Tennessee. I think he did a great job. Uh, Dick Versace did a good job at Bradley. There's so many. The two guys here, outstanding. And then there's the, the gentleman of basketball, Ray Meyer. And Gail Catlett, who had a great year with the Mountaineers of West Virginia. And, of course, our all-freshman team, that we, we stayed up all night trying to figure that one out. There's one 
guy that a lot of people don't know about, Dick. It's Eric Turner at Michigan. He's absolutely an outstanding player. You got uh, Patterson from DePaul. You, you got so many, and they just raced through my mind, the different ones. How about Mullen from St. John's? And Eric Taylor at LSU was outstanding. We could go on and on. We'll try to mention some of the, the other outstanding freshmen during the course of the second half. But we also have our college player of the year, and you had a chance to visit with him at Charlottesville. It was a nice visit. I enjoyed it. I like, I like the lawn. Maybe I'd take one of those 46 rooms. All right, our NBC College Player of the Year. And the question is, will he be here next year as a senior? Ralph Sampson of Virginia. Over two years ago, in the early fall, I visited the lawn here at the University of Virginia with a young, scared freshman by the name of Ralph Lee Sampson. Today, every college sport fan in the country knows about him. End of his sophomore year, he was the college player of the year. Odds on to repeat it again this year. The pros come after him every year, and he said no. He's registered in one of these rooms, there's 47 of them, off the lawn here that are very prestigious. But there's still a doubt whether he'll play his senior year at the University of Virginia. Do you think Ralph will stay his senior year? I think he will. Why? Well, I think he's happy at Virginia, and I know the people here love him, and the students really want him to stay, and I really don't think he needs the money. Money? <laughs> you, could, you could replace this with money? No way right possible. Now. Young lady, will Ralph Sampson stay at Virginia for his senior year? He sure will, because we're going to give him a lawn room, and we're all the way behind him for next year. Ralph in 84, he's here. From talking to the students today, Ralph, they seem to think that you're staying for your senior year because you have a a room on the, on the lawn? Uh, when I applied for the lawn, a lot of reporters and a lot of other people thought I was staying at the university too. But the word there is I applied. And uh, now that I've got uh, accepted to the lawn, um, it's a nice honor and uh, I'm happy with that, but it still doesn't have an effect on my decision to go pro or not. I'm not trying to move you into a corner, but when will you decide if you're going to come back and play your final year? I probably went to the last minute. Uh, That's right. <laughs> last minute, 11:58, something like that. <laughs> PM that night, and uh, tell coach I don't have everybody sweating again. But that's the way I work. That's the way I do things, and uh, I always wait to the last minute. Mm -hmm. So far, and, uh, hopefully it'll work again. Where did um, your son get his ability from? Were you an athlete in high school? Uh, I've been teaching me how to do the hook. <laughs> 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 Seriously, you know, I used to tell him when he was in high school, I thought, Ralph, you've done everything except the hook. Because I, and I said, you know, when I was in high school, I did the hook was no problem. So he, he went back to the gym and started working on his hook shots. But I, I played when I was in high school. I felt that this year that he would have been close to Taft City. What made you, what made this club, obviously, outside of you? Well, it was a team basketball team. And everybody uh, hangs in there and plays together. Everybody does what they can do, and it's, it makes it real good. What, in your opinion, is the weakest part of your game? The weakest part is uh, everything, I think. I like to improve a whole lot more than I have. Uh, I want to dribble and get guard. <laughs> I wanna... You also want to take that 17-foot jump? Right, I always did, yeah, definitely. And, uh, I want to play out front sometimes. I want to play inside. You know, pal, that I don't think you're going to win the NCAA. But let's say you do win the NCAA. Will this make a difference in your decision? returning for your senior year? Well, I think when we win... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Positive thing? Yeah, yeah, definitely positive. Uh, it will have no bearing on my yeah. decision. And uh, I just have to get down and reevaluate the situation and see if I'm happy again and do I want to live on the lawn and do I want to do certain things at the university. Um, whatever you do, I don't think there'll be any rational person that would say you're wrong, or any rational person would change their opinion of you, Ralph. Well, congratulations to our NBC Player of the Year, Ralph Sampson of Virginia. A lot of people have been wrong trying to outguess that young man as to his future. Now, let's take a look at what's ahead today on NBC Sports World. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Adam. We had a picture postcard of a day in the Bavarian Alps, the German resort town of Garmisch-Partenkirchen. Or later today on NBC Sports World, we'll be bringing you the 47th running of the Arlberg Kandahar, an exciting men's downhill race featuring Austrian great Franz Glommer and the current world giant slalom champion Steve Mayer. But that's not all. 
We'll also be bringing you the American Professional Gymnastics Classic from Miami Beach, where Marsha Frederick, the former world champion in the uneven parallel bars, returns to competition in her professional debut. And also from Florida, Sports Journal profiles Mark the Bird Fidridge. That's all coming up later today on Sports World, following the Bay Hill Classic. Thank you, Mike Adamley. Here at halftime, North Carolina leading Virginia 34-31 for the top spot in the nation. We'll be back after these words from your local station. Monday. I'm going to die. A deadly epidemic strikes the mining camp, and Caroline risks her life to help the kids. I'll go. Little House on the Prairie. They meet the boys in Company C. These people die at my command. They're underage, raring to go, and ready to fight. Right after an all-new Little House Monday. basketball is being brought to you by Budweiser for all you do this buds for you by Texaco who also brings you quality automotive products you can trust by the makers of Skoll, Copenhagen and Happy Days the smokeless tobaccos and by GMC trucks are what we're all about Buds for all the guys who keep the action from getting out of hand. This Bud's for you, for all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Here's a bouquet from FTD, specially designed to create a magic moment in your life. We call it the FTD Magic Moment Bouquet, a bouquet with a magic all its own. Only your FTD florist has it. Here comes Harry Gant and the Skull Bandit in for a pit stop. Hi, I'm Harry Gant. When I bring the Skull Bandit in for a pit stop, I come in for a paint stop. Because while the rest of the team takes care of the Bandit, I get to take a little pinch of Skull, put it between my cheek and gum for real tobacco pleasure without lighting up. Now that's what we call teamwork. And Skull's what we call team pleasure. For real tobacco pleasure without lighting up, try Skull. A pinch is all it takes. GMC brings you the GMC Cash Bonus Plan. You can get a $500 cash bonus on a new GMC S15 pickup. Get a $750 cash bonus on new GMC full-size pickups, GMC vans, Jimmys, Suburbans, or any other light-duty GMCs. See your participating GMC truck dealer. He can put a new GMC truck in your hands and money in your pocket. The GMC Cash Bonus Plan. It's the break you've been waiting for. Thursday, when Arnold's a bully's target, it's Willis who takes the beating. Different strokes. Then Nell helps Katie and her friends get their act together on Give Me a Break. Before we go to the second half, let's check the final. U.S. Basketball Writers Association NBC Top 20. Carolina and Virginia, 1-2. Carolina getting eight first place votes. DePaul, the top independent in the nation, third. Missouri, the Big A champion. And the Pac-10 champion, Oregon State. 
Minnesota won it outright. Congratulations to Jim Dutcher. Georgetown, my pick to win the NCAA. They have no weaknesses, and I feel their defense is their offense. Tulsa going for the hat trick. They won two years ago the junior college championship. Went with the coach on to Tulsa. They won the NIT last year. Idaho, the Vandals, a great shooting percentage. And Memphis State, who says a freshman can't win for you with Keith Lee? Oh, he's outstanding. We'll have the second uh, 10 for you in the second half. Field goal percentage, 62.5% for the Cavaliers, 50% for Carolina. Tar Heel started out with an 8-0 lead, but then it was Virginia shooting very well. Big stat right there is only one turnover for North Carolina. That is unbelievable because this is an up-and-down game. It's not a, a slow-tempo game. Let's check the individual scoring. Well, first in the Bay Hill Classic down in Florida, Jack Nicholas. Still in the lead by a shot over Raymond Floyd. Midway through the third round. Watson, two shots back. Then Lenny Watkins, Stadler, and Haas. Well, it's Stadler. It's Stadler, he's just in the top five, six every tournament this year. Now, the individual scoring of our first half here at Greensboro. Ralph Sampson with eight points and four rebounds to lead Virginia. But Miller was four for four from the floor, the freshman starter. Edelin chipping in with six, Robinson five, Jones and Stokes two. Worthy, brilliant, 16 points for Carolina. Perkins and Doherty with six, Black with four. Jordan strapped with three fouls, scored only two free throws. Those six points for Edelin was very big. Don't expect that much production out of him offensively. North Carolina jumped out to the early 8-0 lead. And finally saw Virginia almost catch them at 32-31. We start the second half 34-31. And Virginia on the alternate possession gets the ball first. This is man-to-man. -man. Let's see how Sam Perkins will handle Samson. And always remember, who's ever playing Samson man-to-man -man is getting help. Robinson over Worthy to score. And it's 34-33. Worthy might have been conscious there. He has two fouls. Didn't want to pick up his third too early. So he didn't go for head and shoulder fake on Robinson. Robinson now with seven points. Reintroduce the Carolina five. Worthy, Perkins. This is Doherty with the ball. Black and Jordan. Jordan now with it. There's that jump hook. Not there. But touch last by Virginia. Othell Wilson, the starting guard, number two score for Terry Hollins. Virginia Cavaliers is on the bench, out of uniform, bruised his thigh in Friday night's first round game. There's Wilson, who's had a great year, sophomore guard. He's all ACC guard. Virginia down by only one despite his absence. Two three zone. Over 15,000 here in Greensboro. Worthy had it knocked away. Rebound out to Stokes and a foul on Worthy. He was on the back. His second. Oh, I was wrong. I said he had two already. Excuse me. He was on the back of Ralph Sampson that time. Not much. Looked like he just touched him with his inside hand. Now he misses this shot. See him pushing there. Number 52. He's pushing Ralph. He's way up in the stratosphere. Virginia has not led in this game. They have a chance, and do! Beautiful play, back ball. Defensive man turned his head. Mullins, first basket, gives Virginia its first lead. Now he hits him after. It wasn't intentional. Matt Doherty was concentrating on trying to block the shot. Virginia comes out with six unanswered points to open the second half. They lead by three. In northwest Montana, up by Hungry Horse and Lone Pine sits Whitefish. It's a long way to anywhere from Whitefish. So when the railroad needed computer equipment here, Honeywell was the choice. A Honeywell system may not need service often, Have a nice trip. but there's a Honeywell service engineer to come take care of it. Hey, how are you, Wayne? How you doing? Even in Whitefish. Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. 
Bruce Buds for that first day on the job. This Buds for you, the all you do. The king of beers is coming through. Yeah, just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do. This Bud's for you. Why do 100,000-mile flyers choose United? To succeed in business, you have to deliver, as promised, day in, day out, or your customers won't come back. That's how we build our business at FTD, and it seems United has the same philosophy. I get good service, good food, and a good flight time and again. I admire an outfit that delivers with consistency. It brings a sweet smell of success. Thank you. People who fly for a living fly United's friendly skies. From the heart of the state of North Carolina, Greensboro, here's Stokes' play and Doherty with the goal 10. Watch how high Matt gets here. An obvious goal 10. So Virginia scoring the first six points of the second half, leading 37-34. That was a nice picture through the window there. 1-3-1 one, one zone now. Again, 1-3-1 one, one zone is vulnerable from the corners and on the side of the top of the key. Inside to Perkins. Back out to Michael Jordan. Rebound, Sampson. So two minutes and 15 seconds gone in the second half, and North Carolina has not scored yet. Sampson playing high, Perkins on him, the hook shot. Not there, that's the one his mother talked about in the halftime conversation. Doherty. And Carolina with 2.40 gone in the second half. Finally it gets on the board, 37-36. Kenny McDonald. He keeps them honest, he makes that baseline of North Carolina, in my opinion, the best baseline in college basketball. Sam Perk is going to need a little help on that side, just like he's saying that. He told me that he's going to become an announcer and bury me as an announcer someday. Because I said that he can't cover Samson man to man. I don't think anybody can cover him man to man. Now watch Matt Doherty laying off in front of Samson. That's why Miller's staying out there. Tim Mullen, the freshman from Richwood, New Jersey, with the ball. Doherty on him. Jones, good fake on Black. Jeff Jones has four. 39-36, Virginia. 16-20 left in the second half. Doherty throws it out of bounds, trying to hit Black. That's one of the rare mistakes made by Carolina today. Never any excitement on the Carolina bench. They handle themselves, everything's smooth and easy. The tighter the game, the cooler Dean Smith is. The end of the game is Buzz Peterson, number 22 for North Carolina, replacing Michael Jordan. Chris Brust, 45, also in for Carolina. Worthy and Jordan on the bench. I'm surprised that Virginia doesn't pull out and make them come out of the zone. They got the lead by three points. They can come out of the zone, make them play Samson man to man. Maybe they're doing it. They might be it's a two-three zone. The white team, North Carolina, is a two-three zone. They're losing by three points. They must come out and play Virginia. Oh, that's an unfortunate call. Black and Mullen in contact. Mullen fell down. And no foul and a turnover to North Carolina. Black, a tremendously talented defensive player in the tradition of, well, Dudley Bradley, who may have been one of the best defensive men to ever play this game. Well, Jimmy Black, very underrated as a ball player because there's only so much publicity in a team like this with two All-Americans, Perkins and Worthy. Perkins brings it back out to Jordan. Here's Black, and now Doherty. Looks like to me that Jordan's going to break out soon. He takes the shot. How do you know these things? I don't know. He started to 
move a little quicker. He, uh, he was taken out of the game for a while. Dean probably said, hey, get your head together. You're a good ball player. Put it up there. You're, play, you're playing too tentative. Black on defense against Jones. Robinson and Rust. Again, Carolina alternates their defense. Gives you many faces. Every time down, you got to analyze what they're doing. Rust is laying back to help out Sam Purdy. And Virginia calls timeout. Five minutes, 15 seconds have been played in the second half, and the Cavaliers lead the Tar Heels by one. Texaco's radio broadcasts bring opera to people who can't be there. Live from the Metropolitan Opera. Texaco's Metropolitan Opera broadcasts the longest running sponsored program in radio history. Honey, opera really gets to you, doesn't it? Texaco, your ticket to the Met for over 40 years. On NBC Sports Ringside, Mustafa Hamshow and Curtis Parker. The Syrian buzzsaw, Parker wants this rematch. On NBC Sports Ringside, next Saturday, live. Well, to all our expectations, it's been a great game. 39-38, Virginia. Who do you think is going to win it and why? Uh, I think you it's going to go well, down to the wire. I'm hesitant. I really think it's going to go down to the wire. And I feel Virginia's going to win it because I, uh, I think that Ralph plays better in the second half. In the first half, he's a lot unselfish. And unless they get Worthy back off the blocks, it seems that Worthy got out fast, got a quick 16 points, and now they're hesitant. And you don't think Virginia will win the NCAA? You like no, Georgetown? I like Georgetown in the NCAA because um, they play a style that other people don't play. They're like a southpaw fighter. They're playing the full 94 feet. Their defense is their offense. They got a long bench. They come at you. And, and that guy Thompson's a good coach. Here are the first round and second round games. How these two teams earn their way here. Virginia with a couple of two-point wins. North Carolina winning rather easily against North Carolina State and Georgia Tech. Virginia with the ball, leading 39-38. Sampson, not there. Perkins gets the rebound. Miller had his hand on it for a moment. Tar Heels looking for the lead. Perkins outside. And Worthy rebounds. And Matt cleans the floor. Boy, that is, as they call him, an awesome twosome for Dean Smith. Perkins and Worthy, they're both 6'9". Let it go, Jordan. Take it. 13.45 left. Worthy got position over there. They get it to him. Jordan. Jordan hits two in a row, and North Carolina's back in front, 40 to 39. All right, now they got the lead. Carolina smartly goes with two three zone. Now Virginia has to attack. Now here's where they miss Othell Wilson. Miller trying to wedge his way into the lane. And he's called for charging. Terry Holland didn't see it that way. Well, there was no room there on that play. He tried to force between two men. He put the ball down off one of their legs. Watch what happens. He turns here. There's two men, one on each side. And he tries to get through them. There's no room there. But neither man, both men for Carolina were turned to the side. He didn't really. Yeah, but Perkins doesn't have to get out of his way there. Perkins had to, the, his two feet down. It's up to uh, the offensive man to get around him. 12.45 left second half. North Carolina, 40. Virginia, 39. Virginia.
California out shooting the Tar Heels as you can see in both halves but they trail in the game score. You forget every now and then that Ralph Sampson is seven foot four. One of the reasons why the Carolina percentages are lower, they've had many more opportunities. They had eight more shots than Virginia the first half. Kind of a slight four corners here. Not into it deep. Looking to open it up. I think they're looking to open it up to have word to go inside even. Come on, Rob, take my little bit. This is part of the game that has created a lot of controversy this year, the slowdown. Yep. More so in the ACC than any place else. You all, all got to come out now and create play. Dean Smith on the bench, graduate of Kansas. He was a reserve on the 1952 Kansas team that won the national tournament. And that same Kansas team in 53 finished second to Indiana for the title from Emporia, Kansas. Certainly one of the game's very best coaches. Terrific article in Inside Sports uh, issue on who is Dean Smith and what makes him tick. Well, he's a very personal guy and has a close group of friends, and that's about it. His life is fast, but morning enjoys golf. He's a family man. won everything but the NCAA championship. He's been there six times to the final four. Three times to the final game. Yep. And yet some of his fellow coaches really don't like him. I found that to be true of John Wooden when he was at UCLA. That they find him almost too perfect. They try to pick away at him. Well, no one can digest that much success. It's very hard to still be human. You know, you're, you're, you're competing against someone in the, you know, for the last 15 years. He's won so many of these conference championships and tournaments. And, Every, this will be a 16th straight year in the postseason tournament. And, the, and he runs his operations so nice and smooth. Even his assistant coaches. Gutwich is there 15 years. Vogel's there nine. Probably has more plays in the NBA than any other coach. Jeff Jones nearly with a steal. And in fact, North Carolina, the last 16 years, they finished either first or second in their conference. What a run of excellence. One of the reasons for the clock, people don't realize that everyone thinks the poorer team used the clock. In my, team, my opinion, the better teams used the clock. Jordan, Michael Jordan, that's three in a row for the freshman, and North Carolina built its lead back to three. They used the clock about two and a half minutes in that last sequence. shoot from the outside. I don't believe you, Bill. Now, again, that hurts Virginia because Odell Wilson is hurt. They don't want to take a chance because of the NCAA coming up next Thursday. Inside to Sampson. He shoots that jump shot down. That one was just about down. 42-41. Sampson now has 10. He's averaging 16 a game, and his rebounds over 11 a game. That's really misleading. He does so much more. You understand, Dick, that when he shoots the shot down, if you touch the ball after it leaves his hand, it's gold. <laughs> That's right. Because the ball's on his downward flight. <laughs> Jordan, he's hot. Oh, he's hot. Dean took him out and sat him down. He says, hey, you made the all-NBC freshman team. Well, show him why. He comes back with four straight field goals after being shut out, except for two free throws in the first half. 44, 41, eight and a half minutes remaining. Now again, this gets boring to people that don't have an interest in Virginia or North Carolina individually. That's where I think the clock will be coming in for about 40 seconds. It will take a few more years because the game is not really broken, so don't fix it. Kenton Needle at number 30 is back in for Virginia, replacing Robinson. Everything that's going on now is legal. I believe that the referees should not have to give a warning on a stall or a slow tempo game. I also believe that the 28-foot pass mark on the side of the court should be moved in closer to the basket. Dean Smith is for the three-point 
play as well, anything outside 18 feet. Jones, that might have been a three-pointer. Yeah, that's the son of a coach. 44-43. Seven and a half minutes remaining, North Carolina by one. All sons of coaches seem to be able to shoot the ball. Black with Stokes, Doherty has Miller, Perkins and Sampson. Getting into too much of a chess game too early in the game. There's still over seven minutes left. That's a 1-3-1 one, one zone. <laughs> you can see they've got every corner covered, plus Doherty in the middle at the top of the key. But that's not, it's not four corners, Dick. It's four setting up against the 1-3-1 zone. The vulnerable spots are always where the one man is on both sides. So it's 1-3-1, one, one, so the corners on both ends of the half court are open. But Chini's going to have to go man to man, otherwise they, they can ice this game all the way out. 6.20 left. North Carolina, 44, Virginia, 43. Edelin, very nearly a steal, a foul on Edelin. That is only the second team foul on Virginia, and just the third foul of the entire second half for both teams. And a timeout, 6-14, left in the game. And here's your room guarantee. And only Holiday Inn gives you this no excuses guarantee. Everything in your room will be right, or we'll make it right, no excuses, or that night you stay free. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. You don't get this guarantee from any other hotel chain, not any one of them. And this guarantee comes from every one of us at Holiday Inn to you, because we want to take care of you. We give you a guarantee, not excuses. Michelob brings you the seven-day weekend. Good eating style. Special of the week for gourmet's delight. Here's how to add a little weekend flavor to any dish. Serve with generous portions of Michelob. Because that smooth and mellow taste helps make any time feel a little like a weekend. Put a little weekend in your week. Yeah. Head and Shoulders doesn't have it. Selsun Blue doesn't have it. Only Denerex has it. An extra relief medicine to stop dandruff itch. You can feel it tingle. All three have one medicine for dandruff itch. But only Denerex adds a second medicine. An exclusive anti-itch medicine many dermatologists recommend. You can feel it tingle. That's extra relief medicine. And only Denerex has it. In regular or new mountain fresh herbal, Denerex stops dandruff itch with an extra relief medicine. to follow this game from Greensboro, where North Carolina leads Virginia 44-43. The rest of our top 20, the final count, Alabama, they won the tournament, the SEC tournament, with a victory at Kentucky last night. Arkansas winner, Fresno State a champion, West Virginia champion. Wake Forest probably will get in the tournament as one of the ACC teams, as will Kentucky. Iowa, Wyoming is already in. Louisville playing great basketball the last month. And Alabama, Birmingham with a big eight that gets them in the top 20. I look for four teams getting from the Big Ten and four from the ACC. I agree. 6-14 left in the game, a one-point difference, North Carolina in the lead. If there's a tie-up, the ball goes to the Tar Heels. Important thing to remember. We've had three and a half minutes of little action in the four-corner display by North Carolina. Well, the playing catch, Al, I'd like to remind all of the friends of Father Murphy, Merlin Olson's outstanding new series on NBC, that beginning a week from today, Father Murphy will be seen on Sunday nights. Sunday nights at 7 o'clock. Normally, of course, Tuesday at 8. It'll be on this Tuesday, but next Sunday, make it a regular habit, you and your family. Father Murphy, Sunday nights at 7 here on NBC. Sometimes coaches might think it's not going to be a nice statement that people pay to come to watch them rather than the game. 
kind of nice statement, but I, I think what's happened with this clock, uh, the first thing that is was Heathcote, when they won the championship at Michigan State with a zone. That created slowing down the game. We've lost 21 points in the game over the last 10 years. That's the gross score. Take a score of 75 to 75, be 150 points. Now it's now would be 129 points. And the um, and the other thing is that the ball, they get so many more touches. And it's the team that's ahead that's that's that needs the clock to stop them, rather than the team that's behind. The good, the teams are, the good teams are slowing it down. It used to be it was the weaker team, an inferior team that would slow down the game. Now it's the outstanding teams that are doing it. When I, when I was coaching, I would tell my ball club, if we run our delay right, we'll win eight games this year because of running the delay right. There's not a team in this country today that doesn't work on their delay every game. And the ones that do it the best, obviously, are the better teams because they have the better ball players. And this is what's happening right here. Now, um, I'm not saying what coach is right or wrong. It's a chess game. I'd probably play exactly the same as them. But I, I, I do think that we are starting to hurt basketball. And that the clock will come in sooner or later. Another minute goes by. We're under four minutes. 44-43 Carolina. Now Virginia should decide to foul. They have only committed two team fouls. So they can't force Carolina to the line. Another five fouls. There's Terry Holland and Dean Smith there, probably as casual and at least an outward appearance as anyone in the Greensboro Coliseum. Oh no, Dick, inside, all oh, inside, a malted milk, the whole thing just to zip around inside there and butterflies and static. And, uh, just trying to stay cool, but there's no way they're tight. See, I, I believe Virginia come up, play tight if you commit a foul. So what? They only get the ball out. Might as well take a chance on going for the ball. If you commit the foul, no harm. Yep, you the, might make the steal. But the thing that Virginia has to be aware of, if there's a tie-up, North Carolina gets the ball again because the arrow is pointing that way. Another of your favorite rules. I don't want to get into it. It's too aggravating. <laughs> little pressure by Virginia. Jordan and Black fighting for the ball. Holland thought that was a turnover. Look at him, he's off the bench across the way. Come on, pick up the tempo. Let's go, let's go. Virginia's getting a little bit more aggressive, but not enough. They're allowing the outlet pass each time. The last score of this game was over five minutes ago when Virginia connected to make it 44-43. You no, know, Dick, I'm not worried about the basketball buff. We got a great game here in basketball. You'll always have them watching. I'm worried about the other 50% of the people that are watching at home here. They're saying, what am I watching? You know, what's happening here? It's happening too often. Now and then, fine. Uh, a rare exception, but out here are two powerhouse teams. Out here are number one, two, or three in the nation. One of both of these teams will probably be in Basin Street. It's like a, a baseball pitcher who refuses to throw the ball. Well, we'll have our most valuable player, Honeywell, who present a thousand dollar scholarship to both North Carolina and Virginia. Right now, of course, between Worthy of Carolina and Sampson of Virginia. These refs should be like a, like in a fight game. They, they go in and they say, hey, hold it a second. Stop the clock. Hey, you two guys, let's fight, huh? If you're not going to fight, let's take a long walk in the short pier. <laughs> How about a timeout? Does that excite you? 126 left in regulation, 44.